really big day. We are going to be doing a massive wardrobe edit. I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. I'm going to be purging my wardrobe. I'm going to be overhauling my wardrobe, refining my wardrobe, pulling things out, getting rid of things. So if you're really curious about how to clean out and organize your closet or how to give yourself a wardrobe edit, then this video is definitely going to help you because this is what I do for clients in person. This is what I do. I go into their wardrobes, I pull things out, I help them get rid of it, whether through consignment or charity or using online retailers like ThreadUp and Poshmark and other places to create a circular wardrobe. And I think one of the biggest things that you need to think about when you're trying to get your wardrobe organized is what you most want to have. Like where do you really, really, really want your style to go? So I'm gonna talk briefly about that too. As you can see, there's the closet there and I've got a couple pieces already pulled out on the bed for us to take a peek at. It's a packed closet. The reality is is that I, I know that I have too much clothing. And when you shop at the thrift store, you get this feeling like it's not going to be a big deal for you to buy it because it doesn't cost so much money for you. And yeah, why not just go ahead? And if you're like me and you see the possibilities and the beauty in design and everything that you see in touch and you imagine yourself doing amazing things in these pieces, then for sure you're going to be prone to over buying. Plus, it's not easy for me to let go of things only because I just want to make the money back. Sometimes that's not a reality. Sometimes it takes a lot of effort to do stuff like that. If you would like to follow along and do this for yourself, I have a free guide in the description box below that is like the complete guide you need to purging, editing, and organizing your wardrobe. I think it's going to be really helpful for you because you can just read it and you can use it as like a step-by-step -step process. You can grab that in the description box below. Okay, it's a nightmare in here. Let's see, we're gonna speed through this. I will link in the um, cards above that I have a couple of videos about cleaning and, um, and organizing your wardrobe that I've already covered. And as you can see, it's not in the worst shape, but it is really full. My husband and I both share this wardrobe. It gets just it's dark there's only two layers of racks so it's really difficult to hang things like dresses and there's just too much so my vision is to only have in there the articles of clothing that i am like 100 percent in love with i'm going to let go of things that are no longer serving me that i do not grab for and that i have dreams about wearing <laughs> some of these things i don't think are suitable for thread up and so i'm going to kind of make a note of like which items are going to be vintage and then which items can definitely go to thread up. Having worked in a consignment shop before, I can tell you right now that some of these pieces are going to be taken and I'm going to focus really on the ones that they're going to want immediately and not on the ones that they're gonna send back to me because I don't wanna have to pay for that. Okay, the first thing is, where is it? I am definitely gonna send in this Everlane wool thing. It's like a wool bomber jacket. And then I'm also gonna send in this new with tags mango trench coat because I am not petite and this comes right under my boobs. So I don't like where that sits, even though it's a beautiful piece. This I just don't think is me anymore. And I, I, as I said, I want other items. I would like to get other items in my wardrobe. This is something I've tried to sell many times before. It is a J. Crew 100% linen, beautiful white blouse, a popover blouse, and I love it. I'm not gonna sell this. It's like a really cool Western style shirt. But I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this J. Crew button-up denim skirt, and the reason is because it's so many seasons old and I think it's time to replace it. I don't know. Actually, that's the maybe pile. This is the yes pile. Right away, these are some brand new Zara leather sandals that I purchased and they're gladiator. They have never been worn. I don't think I'm going to wear these ever. And that is because I don't like the thong um, sandal thing. So those are going away. Okay. This is a consignment find that is damaged. So that's not going to go anywhere. And I do need to repair that. 
vintage they won't take just got that everlane blouse this is a beautiful h&m cotton lace blouse that is very see-through and i really 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 love it so i'm gonna hold on to that this is a Zara blouse that I've thought about getting rid of a zillion times, but I've decided that I think this is a classic piece. It's 100% linen, so I'm definitely going to keep it for sure. This, on the other hand, is so stunning. It reminds me of Musier, but listen, it's really revealing. And I feel like when I wear this, I've only worn it twice, that I really do need a camisole under here. So maybe that's a style choice I can make later. But if you're hesitating on getting rid of something, think about the thing that you really want instead of the thing that you have right now, because that might help motivate you. It's gonna go in the maybe pile. This is vintage, keeping that. That is like a vintage, no famous brand. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. And it's a beautiful cotton blouse. This is a beautiful Zara blouse that's lace and it's got some discoloration, so I might try to clean it in the armpits before it goes, but it is going to go for sure. It's so pretty. I love it, but I think there are some other blouses that I want more, and I will be sure to kind of Hopefully, I'll try to pop some things on the screen as I'm going through these pieces to show you. This is where my wish list is. That's why I'm able to cut throat, get rid of stuff, and just say, like, move it along. This is the JC Penny blouse that I got for the 10x10 style challenge. And I don't know how much I would make if I consigned this, but it is, um, I haven't picked it out to wear it, so I'm going to put it here. You can tell I have definitely an obsession with white lace blouses, so <laughs> maybe it's okay if I get rid of some. Okay, this I just got. It's a Brooks Brothers button-up, and I think I'm going to try to consign it to see if they will take it. Um, I think it's just almost maybe too formal for me, and I think I want to go a little bit more oversized. Also, it requires, it's French cuff, so it requires cuff links. Uh, alright, so moving on along. This Zara lace blouse is definitely going as well, okay? This is really nice. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. I wear it all the time, <laughs> but... I really want this other specific lace blouse. And the other thing is that if you can consign things as they're newer, you will get more money for them. And this is in style. I think this would definitely sell. And it is synthetic. It's not 100% cotton or anything. And so for that reason, I think it's very wearable and has held up very well. So try to get rid of things before it's too worn. I just got this from Everlane and I've decided that no. <laughs> I missed the return date on it as well. As cool as it is, it's new with tags, so I do think that I could probably get some decent money for it. So it's going also. Remember, we're focusing on the things that we really want and the things that we really want out of our wardrobe. So it's beautiful, it's lovely, I love it, but I don't love, love it, if you know what I mean. This is the Simple Retro Cotton Blouse, and it is new with tags, and this is a maybe. I really love this blouse, actually, but I haven't worn it since I got it, and I think it's because it's really uh, itchy around the neck. Maybe it just needs to soften up a little bit, so I might try to wear it and style it some of the things from the maybe pile and just wear them again and see how am I loving this maybe pile stuff. Moving along, this is another Everlane silk blouse, and I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. I really think that this style of blouse just isn't for me. I don't know why, but I don't feel me when I wear that, so I don't feel my best in it, even though it's so beautiful. I think I'm going to pass on it. This is a TV sweater, which I've had forever, and it's so beautiful, but I don't think it's my style anymore, and it's got these ginormous bat wing sleeves. It's this beautiful chocolate brown color. TB is a really nice brand, and I got this at a consignment shop. It is so so beautiful, but I don't think I will ever, ever wear this again, even though it's so, so lovely. 
This is a Gap sweater that I've had for ages. It's got these giant sleeves. I used to wear this around the house a lot, but now I'm too... It's, it's very snug on me, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, it's going to be in the maybe pile. I've had it for so long, I'm like hesitant to get rid of it. You can see I used to have a thing for like big sleeve sweaters. This is a Gap, or no, sorry, J. Crew wool that I got consignment. I'm not getting rid of that. Vintage J. Crew, not getting rid of that. My thrifted Uniqlo, no. Mom's vintage t shirt, my Lost in Pussy Tay t shirt, no. I am gonna get rid of this Zara blouse. It's going. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Zara blouse. I loved you. I really did. Your beautiful 100% cotton blouse. And as I say, I really want to focus on getting some higher quality pieces and loving those a lot. So I think we're coming towards the end. This is a consignment find. This is Lafayette 148 and it's this beautiful pure white silk blouse. These neat sleeve details. I've never worn it, not even once, but I paid like super little for it. That's going to go because Lafayette 148 is a very expensive brand. And I think I can get a good amount for this piece. And it's slightly too big for me also. I am going to keep all my blazers. The only ones I might consider getting rid of are vintage ones. I could definitely want to sell this vintage fringe. That's going to Poshmark. Oh, actually, I'm going to send this Escada. Or am I? And, whoo, guys. Let's put in the maybe pile. It is like shoulder pad city. The shoulder pads on here are bananas. So I don't know. It's really beautiful though. It's 100% wool. It's made in Spain. I'm obsessed with it. But fascinatingly enough, dude, I don't know what the deal is, but they're like a gajillion Escada blazers on Poshmark selling for hundreds of dollars. And so I'm like, Hesitant to get rid of it, but it's a little bit too small on me and maybe I could sell it and get something that I love more We shall see. I love it. It reminds me of Kaya Gerber and for that reason I don't want to get rid of it But can you really enjoy it if it's slightly too small? I don't think so as far as like my other jackets are concerned I don't think I want to get rid of anything yet pretty sure I wear will wear most of these at some point Okay, I think that is all that I can pull out of my closet for right now. I do think there are several vintage pieces that I'm going to need to get rid of and just move them on along. And as you can see, these are all really high quality pieces, but I'm not wearing them and I'd like to get some other items. So let's quickly move into um, my office and I'm going to pull a few things from there. I think we're done. Aside from shoes and purses, which I feel like is a whole other, I feel like that's a whole other thing, you guys. I don't even, I don't know. Should I like go for it and go ahead and just get the boxes and pay for, you know, the shipping or, you know, the fees that they take out and just do shoes and purses as well because I've got stuff I definitely want to send in. I mean, hmm have stuff. May as well just pull it out. I've got jeans too. I just wanted to show you guys the pile. Yeah, that's a pretty big pile. Um, I don't know how many pieces that is, but I will update you guys. And also the 
next step is to remove all the hangers and just you know do a basic fold of these items and pop them into a box so I did learn that you don't even need to worry about doing any sort of like fancy folding you just pop them into a box delicately or gently folded and then the rest they handle don't freak out when you see this pile <laughs> I'm freaking out I hate piles I hate messes but we're just rolling with it also, I wanted to mention that in my notes section, I'm going to be taking notes on what I'm sending in. So I'm just going to quickly like add those into my notes section so that way I have it for my own records and I can also gauge like did I spend X on this and I'm going to make X back. Um, ThreadUp is also really, really cool because as far as I understand it, you can adjust the price of your items once they arrive and they've been input and photographed. And if they sell, you can use the money to purchase other items, you can get a direct payout or you can also use the money in discounts at other stores like Reformation and other really neat places. Okay, so it is the evening and oh, it's like 11 o'clock almost or actually I think it's even later. Yeah, it's 20 till 12. I realized that 30 pounds is actually a lot and so I didn't want to waste, I didn't want to waste this space, the opportunity to send the box in full because again, I'm paying the fee to have them return what doesn't sell and I'm paying the fee to have them uh, process it faster. So I just wanted to show you that is a box full of stuff. <laughs> Look at all of this stuff. There's just, I like folded everything nicely. I put a little um, Miss Myers dryer sheet in here <laughs> to make it smell good. I have uh, shoes, bags, blouses, pants, skirts. There are, let's see, 38 items in this box. And let me tell you, I think, I think that I could have put in way more. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm feeling like 38 items is, it looks like a lot, but when you see the number 38, it doesn't seem like a lot uh, on paper. And I really feel like I could get rid of even more. Getting rid of things is actually really addictive and I feel really great about what I've gotten rid of. So tomorrow I'm going to take it to the post office and I'm going to ship it out and hopefully, hopefully it all works out. I am so nervous to put all of these things in the mail. That is kind of a risk I think, you know, always with what you're doing. I figure a risk worth taking. Anyways, uh, I'm going to sign off for tonight. I hope you guys have a really fantastic rest of your day wherever you are and sorry for like the super sleepy energy right now. <laughs> I'm totally getting ready for bed and little Bo is like, he is like 100% in bed already. He is like all the way out. He's got both of his beds out here. So we are going to go to bed. We are going to sign off. We're going to cuddle up. And. Right, Bobby? Yeah. I love that belly. And I will keep you posted about what happens with the kits, with the package. And um, I'm rambling because I'm tired. Don't forget to check the description box below to the link to that ebook that I was telling you about, about how to clean out your closet, how to refine and edit your wardrobe and make money from your closet. So I think you'll really get a lot out of it. And don't forget to leave me any questions or comments you have about the items I'm getting rid of or how to get rid of stuff from your wardrobe or anything like that. And um, I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic week wherever you are.